lot of the treatment research uh, has been focused towards episodic migraine, meaning many medications have been, uh, been um, researched for that kind of diagnosis instead of chronic migraine. It's that, that we extrapolate those findings because the difference with chronic migraines is an increased frequency. So the only drug, there's only been, I believe, three drugs that have been specifically evaluated for chronic migraine, those being Botox, uh, topiramate, and the CGRB monoclonal antibodies. But what, what, what at the Headache Center, when we were you know, thinking of ideas to explore, one thing was that no one really looked at how patients respond with both having Botox and uh, CGRP monoclonal antibody. We, we, we knew we had patients getting both, but it wasn't ever, ever carefully analyzed. And also, one reason why there's that sort of um, pit of information, well, lack of information, better way to put it, is when they did the CGRP monoclonal uh, antibody trials, they actually excluded patients that were getting Botox injections. So no one in those, those the data we have does not include patients of that population. So that's why we decided to go forward with this project. Let's get that information. We'll be the first ones to get that information. What this study showed was that patients who were first on on botulinum toxin A, they got some relief, but it wasn't en it wasn't enough. They still had significant number of monthly headache days, and they needed more preventive therapy, and then them being placed in the CGRP, and that we showed that it did have indeed further reduced the monthly headache days. Um, however, this is a retrospective chart review, which does have its own weaknesses. You know, what we envisioned this project to do was if there was a provider that wasn't sure, for instance, is it safe to give someone a CGRP when they're getting Botox? There isn't any uh, data that uh, explores that. Or does it have any effect? Does it do nothing? This sort of will say, hey, there actually is some data that does suggest that patients will get further uh, reduction in their monthly headache days. I wouldn't necessarily go as far as say this is enough to start changing protocol to make it like standard, like, oh, they, they meet the ICHD3 uh, criteria for chronic migraine. All right, Botox and monoclonal antibody. No, no, that would require something like a randomized clinical trial, which is something that, you know, getting ahead of myself. But um, this sort of uh, to providers who meet that patient who, yeah, this patient needs more preventative therapy. Um, should I give a CGRP? This gives insight to that.